my crafty friends, it's Arva. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with the September edition of the Stash Dive Collab, which is hosted by Jamie, who is Poet Spice here on YouTube. I will leave a link in the description box to her channel. Please go and check her out. She hosts several collaborations um, and they all um, come up at different times during the month. So again, we post for this collaboration on the third Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For this collaboration, we are to use products that we have not used in over six months or have never used. And there's a host of crafty ladies, wonderful crafty ladies that participate in this collaboration. I will have links to all of their channels in the description box below. So please go show them some crafty love. So... This month, I broke out this oldie but goodie, which is the Plush Peonies Pad by Recollections. I picked it up from Michael's a few years back, um, I believe 2020, so a couple years. So um, I knew that I hadn't used this pad since the end of November of last year when I did some birthday mail with it. Then I also used this dark pink cardstock from Cricut. I don't think I've ever used this, and it's really nice cardstock. Um, 80 pound cardstock so it's and it's textured so I really like this cardstock. Then I also used this Tonic Studios die which is Scent with Love gift box. It's a gift box that's shaped like an envelope and it has different florals and different layering pieces for you to create with. That's what the different dies look like. So I used those to create a card for a friend of mine who is celebrating her 40th wedding anniversary. I followed a tutorial for what is called a showstopper card. It was created by Sam Calcott, who is Mixed Up Craft here on YouTube. I'll leave a link to the tutorial in the description box. I took one of the cut aparts and I fussy cut it and then layered it on gold foil cardstock from Michaels and made a boxed envelope to house it. And so this is the card. I fussy cut the, one of the images from one of those large um, 12 by 12 sheets that you know we normally don't know what to do with. <laughs> and I used a Tonic Studio die here for happy anniversary. And it is a pop-up book card, excuse me. And so um, I layered it with different sheets of the pattern paper. And then on this side, similar to Sam's, I used some of the florals um, with some of the pinks that were in that are in a Michaels um, pack, and then I use this number forty with the ordinal so that it would stand out. And I did put that on um, foam to make it dimensional because this is a card that you put on a display. So um, I will try to find links to these products if I can and leave them in the description box below. I really hope my friend likes this. She loves cards. She loves handmade cards, so I thought that she might like something like this, something that was really substantial um, that she could put on display. It does stand up very nicely, so she can put it on a mantle that way, or she could put it on an easel, whatever she wants to do. And I did type up a message on the back for her. Um, I'm glad that the way that Sam showed it was for a message to go on the back, because if you wanted a display like this, you don't really want the personal message to be taken away from the decorations of it all. So... This is my project for this month. I hope you guys like it and I hope that she loves it. So please go and check out the other ladies that are participating in the collaboration. As I said, their links will be in the description box below. Thank you for visiting my channel. And thank you for being patient while I've dealt with some issues with, <laughs> with my phone. We'll have a story time eventually because I've got plenty of videos to come. So we'll have a story time, story time and I can tell you all about it all the gory details of why, why I've been gone for a few weeks. But anyway, I'm back and I thank you so much for watching my video. Have a blessed day. Bye.